It came from up north, but this is Texas. Yes, it is. You're going to have to shape up in Texas. Nobody embodies the tough love mantra quite like Dr. Now on My 600 Pound Life. While most of his patients put in the work to try to lose weight, there are a few that don't grasp the severity of the situation and cause Dr. Now to unload on them. Today on Plot Twist, we're going to take a look at some of Dr. Now's most savage, unhinged moments and rants. So subscribe if you haven't already for more content. Click that bell and let's dive right into it. I'm scared to see the doctor. I don't know what he's going to say. When Ashley and her mother first arrive at Dr. Now's office, it's clear that Ashley isn't looking forward to this. I don't know what it's going to read and I'm afraid of it. 668. It's a really, really high number. 668 pounds. Nobody wants to see that. And Ashley is devastated. Let's see what Dr. Now tells her to do. The surgery is going to only affect how much you're going to eat at one time. And unless you have a handle on that, weight loss surgery is not going to be a good option. So we've got the framework lined up. Ashley's biggest problem is snacking. And the weight loss surgery wouldn't necessarily help with that. Ashley's saying that she has a problem, but also she's acting like surgery is going to fix everything. That's not how it works. It's pretty common for the episode stars to think that surgery is a be all end all. So I can't blame Ashley for entering with that mentality. However, now that she knows the rules, will she be able to follow Dr. Now's orders? The doctor told me I needed to lose 50 pounds to be a candidate for surgery. So everything depends on this way in. 614. Nice work. After just one month, Ashley lost over 50 pounds and now she's ready for surgery. Ashley has done well this month. Losing 54 pounds has demonstrated that she's able to control her eating habit. She's shown me that she's willing to work hard for this and not just trusting in the magic pill. Needless to say, the doc is thrilled about Ashley's progress and he believes surgery will be beneficial. Today, I'm getting a checkup from doctor now and I have been trying really hard, but I haven't had the energy to exercise much and I don't know how much progress I'm making. Ashley's been feeling nauseous ever since her surgery, but Dr. Now has previously examined her stomach and determined that there's nothing physically wrong with her. Let's see how the weigh-in goes. I don't really want to check my weight right now. 531. I'm disappointed with that. I know at this point, I should be averaging about 30 pounds a month. I don't know why I'm not making the progress I should. There's a decent number overall, but you can see that Ashley isn't happy. Will Dr. Now have a similar reaction? 531, huh? Your weight loss will be approximately about 30 pounds a month. You only lost 15 pounds per month. Yeah, you can tell Dr. Now isn't thrilled here. Every day, even if you don't want to, you need to get up and walk. Okay. A year down the road, if you don't change this behavior, you will start going back towards 600 pounds. There's that tough love again. Ashley has been one of the better patients on the show, so he does go relatively easy on her, but he does not shy away from the fact that she needs to continue to improve or risk making the entire weight loss process pointless. Coming to Houston has been one of the hardest things I have ever done. And I'm really nervous because I'm so scared that he's gonna come in and say there's nothing he can do for me. Due to insurance issues, James had to wait a while before he actually made it to Houston and he had a medical emergency on the way down. Everything is stable, but your body is barely functioning. If you continue with this path that you're doing right now, I don't think you can live more than a month or two. I need you and your family to understand how serious this situation is. It has to change now. Wow, that's basically the promise of death right there and Dr. Now doesn't sugarcoat it. I'm going to start your 800 calorie a day diet immediately so you can start to get used to it. Okay. And I want you to lose 135 pounds to get under 600 pounds and we'll help you to get started. Remember, even though this it's their first face-to-face -face meeting. They have spoken virtually, and Dr. Now already gave James a diet regimen that he has not clearly followed. With that stern diagnosis, will James actually start to take this seriously and lose weight? Today I'm going to visit James. I gave him a challenge to get under 600 pounds in two months, but he has not been back to see me since then. I guess he's not doing too well. Oh boy, if you watch the show a while, you'll know that you should never try to ghost Dr. Now and that you don't want to receive a house call from him. All right, how we doing with your diet and activity and exercise? Diet's going good, exercise going great. Yeah, I feel like I've 
you know, I feel loose, you know, a lot looser. Doesn't look like you have lost much weight. Yeah, I agree. And I think since James is hiding from the doctor, he secretly knows he's right. If you followed the 800 calorie a day diet, you would have easily lost the weight you should have and more. Dr. Now's not falling for any excuses and he won't even hear them. He's been having like two pieces of turkey bacon or turkey sausage. He's been eating supper and it will be like four ounces of meat. He does have a salad. But and he doesn't look like he lost much. I know, I understand that. He hasn't, but I count the calories. Yeah, somebody's lying and Dr. Now knows it. There is no way that James is eating only 800 calories a day because he looks bigger now than the day I met him. James has a delusional view of things but you can't lie your way out of a heart attack. Dr. Now makes a great point. For someone that suffered a heart attack earlier in this very episode, James really doesn't seem to care too much about his long-term health. Let's cut to the chase. I'm putting you back in the hospital immediately. And if you actually think he lost weight, we can see there. That's basically the medical version of sending the burnout kid to detention. Act like a child, get treated like a child. We gonna get a weight on you? All right. 382.6 kilograms, 840 pounds. Something is wrong, she's not reading it right or something. Turns out Dr. Now was right, and James knows the day of reckoning is coming. So we're both finally in the same page that you're not sticking to the diet. We have slipped a few times. I had car trouble. We didn't have a way to get food, so we had to order food in. Doesn't matter what you say, okay? Funny we didn't hear about the car troubles earlier. Dr. Now knows that they're just making up whatever excuse they can think of and stops that before it can ever really start. Things are so bad. If you continue like that, I don't think you're going to live to the end of year. Jeez, tell me how you really feel, Doc. Steven Asante has made it to Houston after a two-day drive. So we have to make sure that there are no issues that are affecting their system that may lead to a life-ending event. Steven Asante first arrives in Houston with Dr. Now waiting to greet them. It doesn't take long before Dr. Now notices that Steven will be a difficult patient. Nice to meet you. You doing okay? A lot of pain from the trip though. It was quite the ride. Steven is casually asking for some pain medication, but his body language shows that he really wants it. That's not a great start. Having to battle not only food addiction, but also painkiller addiction spoiler alert the honeymoon period ends it's very frustrating how long i have to wait for everything come on i have to call them and check on things when nothing happens steven has been treating the hospital staff like his own personal slaves and you can tell it's starting to rub dr now the wrong way he's become abusing to hospital staff i need somebody in my room immediately i have been waiting I want this light off. This guy really doesn't seem to get that there are other patients in the hospital and that the world doesn't revolve around him. He came from up north, but this is Texas. Yes, it is. You're gonna have to shape up in Texas. I don't wanna hear of this issue again. And if I do, then this is going to be a very different conversation. As far as I can recall, this is the first time Dr. Now has ever threatened to kick someone out for being an asshole. I never seen any patient like Steven. He asking for pain medicine every 15 minutes and then he spilled urine on the floor. Shockingly, Steven's attitude doesn't get any better. You come here for help. And at this point, there's nothing I can do to help you. So you're done here. And unless you have an emergency, you will not be admitted back. And he's out of here. Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. Today, I'm going back to see Dr. Zardin. But I'm nervous because I don't know how much I weigh. That is not good. Unsurprisingly, Stephen was unable to take care of himself with no hospital supervision. You managed to gain 80 pounds. So if this is not working for you, I'm not going to be the one to write your dead certificate. That's cold, doctor now. Don't get me wrong. Stephen deserves it, as he's clearly putting nothing into this, but damn. 